Hey y'all, my name is Mogi Beth. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a anthropology haul. So I went to Kansas City and I found a ton of stuff. I think it was on President's Day weekend, so there are a lot of good sales going on. But I found a lot of anthropology for really good prices, so I thought I would do a little haul of all the anthropology brands I found. So if you're new to reselling, you get a sense of the different tags to look for for anthropology because anthropology does have a lot of in-house brands and then they also source brands from um, designers. Also, in my Q&A video, I received a lot of questions about how I find stock photos. And stock photos are a little controversial, but if you want to find stock photos, I'm going to show you how I do that. With a lot of brands, you can find um, the style number on the materials tag. Free People, the OB number is where you're going to find that. Um, Eileen Fisher, there's usually a style number. J. Crew and Madewell, of course, always have style numbers. Um, Cabby, Soft Surroundings, a lot of brands actually include uh, style numbers on their material tag. So always make sure you're looking at the material tag to see if there is a style number within there because that makes finding the stock photo so much easier. But with anthropology, there is no style number most of the time. So you have to use some keyword and search engines and a little bit of creativity to find those stock photos and I'm going to show you that process um, in this video. And then I'm also going to just show you in this video how I uh, list my items so you get a better sense of that process. So I've already steamed, measured, and photographed these items here. So I'll just run you through the haul and then we'll get started with um, how I find stock photos and how I list. Okay, so the first piece we have in the haul is this eyelet trench coat. Um, really a perfect piece for spring. It's got um, this white eyelet with this blue um, fabric underneath. Super cute. It's actually by one of my favorite ba personal brands from Anthropology, Elevensies. I just think their pieces are super unique. The buttons here, really pretty brass, and then it kind of looks like Mother of Pearl in there. And then it's got a tie on the back. The next one is from one of Anthropology's more athleisure style brands. It is Dolan and it is a size small. It's a hooded pullover with um, this really cool detailing along here. Super, super soft. It's got these thumb holes, which is perfect for like a loungy Sunday. I love that. Super cute. Okay, this dress actually is missing um, its halter straps. They usually should button here, but it is Girls from Savoy. It's this orange corduroy, orange or red corduroy um, halter dress. Well, now it's a strapless dress. And it's uh, honestly one of those dresses that's a really great layering piece. Like, I think this would look so cute over a turtleneck or even a graphic tee and then combat boots. Or you could, of course, dress it up um, because it does have have some um, layers under there to make it uh, stand out a little bit and then it has this panel detail um, and a really cool zipper detail in the back kind of a more uh, a bigger zipper for the style of piece um, which I think is a really cute design detail this next piece is a tunic style top from holding horses holding horses is Anthropology's more Western style inspired brand. This is a size six. I love the pink and blue um, plaid on this. And I really like that uh, contrasting fabric underneath there. This piece is so soft, so comfy. I think tunics are just, tunic style tops are really great for traveling because you can just wear them with leggings. Okay, this piece is Guinevere, one of Anthropology's in-house brands. It is a definitely one of their brands that has been there from the beginning. Um, this is a really beautiful um, knit kind of open front cardigan, short sleeve. It's a size small and there's the tag there. And then it has this lace cutout detail, um, which is so unique. These types of um, Details are really kind of what make anthropology anthropology, I think. Um, you can't really find that everywhere, so I love that piece. This is a brand that is 
kind of a lesser known brand within anthropology, Isabella Sinclair. This is just a really nice button down, but then again with that lace cut out in the back. So pretty. Um, and then it's just a light gray and white. Um, just a really cute staple piece with a unique detail on the back. The next one is a Kimmy and Kin. It is a size extra small. Let's see if it will focus. It has the button still attached and it's just an, an embroidered half button down top. Um, I really love the embroidery here. That's kind of what Akimi and Kin pieces from Anthropology are really kind of known for, is more of that boho embroidered look. This next piece I've actually owned and then sold before. It is Postmark. And it is a pearl swing sweater top in maroon. It's just got this really um, nice texture to it and then this kind of lace underlay on the neckline and at the um, hem there. I wore it um, actually to work a lot um, when I worked in a more corporate setting and it, I just kind of tucked it into high-waisted pants and it was really it's a really stretchy top so it was really comfortable and it looked you know at least professional enough for the environment that I was in and then it has a cool zipper de detail in the back so um, I really like that piece. The next one is an actually it's an older Mave tag so this is definitely from at least a few years ago and generally I would say don't pick up this tag unless it is a very unique or very cute piece um, you know I think with anthropology if it is cute or unique always pick it up um, but this is so cute y'all look at this detail on the bottom and then it's got these flowers and it's got that ruched waistband Super cute, it's a size four, strapless, perfect for a spring wedding. Um, I really, really like that. This is an Anthropology brand. Um, I think this is maybe one of their newer labels, um, Edme and Asilt. Probably butchering that, but this I think is a really comfy, cozy piece. Another really good airport loungewear piece. Something super easy to throw on. It's sweatshirt material, so you know it's. Cute, but so comfy. It's got pockets, as you can see. Um, I love this piece. Okay, so this is a newer Mave tag, size large. We've got some faux leather trim here. Um, this stretchy fabric and the panels in the on the arms and on the sides. Um, faux leather trim in the pockets, and then some tweed, and I think this is a perfect work dress. Um, it is comfy, professional, and super cute. And then, of course, it's got this cute brass button uh, on the back, and then it's more pleated on the back, which I thought was really interesting and really flattering. I like that, how they did that there. Here's another loungewear um, piece by one of their in-house brands, Saturday Sunday. This, I think, is a size small, super cute. It's just a navy cowl neck, um, kind of asymmetric jacket. And it's got pockets. I mean, throw this over some leggings and you are good to go. Super cute, super soft, super comfy. Okay, so here is an in-house anthropology sweater line that you might miss if you're not familiar with it because it is on this teeny tiny tag and it's called knitted and knotted and this is actually new with tag which is awesome and these pieces are really well constructed and really just a staple piece for everyday wear this is in a beautiful peacock blue type color and it's just an open front cardigan size medium. Um, I love this piece. I think it should do well on Poshmark. And I honestly, in my opinion, Knitted and Knotted does really well. So I would recommend that you pick it up. Here's another Saturday Sunday size medium in this case. Um, this is really cute. Um, another kind of loungewear piece that is in this really cool t deep tan color. Um, it's got a waist tie and it. I really like how they've um, done the neckline. It's kind of in this folded pattern and it goes on the back as well. 
Um, just a really, really, really cute loungewear, athleisure wear piece. Here's another Guinevere um, sweater, and it's got this crochet detail along the neckline and at the bottom with the tie. It's a size large, really good condition. This is, might be an older piece um, just because of the style, but it's so unique and so gorgeous and in such good condition that I had to pick it up. This is a Maeve new label top size large in this really really cool print so it's got I think this is called a pussy bow tie around the neck or this actually might just be a uh, kind of neck tie because it doesn't go around the neck kind of lays flat here and then it's got a high low hem which is always super flattering and then this super cute just like what is that a lodge like a mountain lodge print love that Okay, this next piece is also Maeve, and it is size zero, 00 petite, so it is a extra, extra small, but I loved the print on this. Monkeys, and it's like purple and white, and then it has these really cute wooden buttons on them, which is uh, so anthropology. I love it. Um, I think it'd be a really cute work, work shirt, depending on where you work, or it'd be really cute in a high-waisted jeans. Uh, love that. Okay, here's another Dolan um, piece. It's extra small, but this one is also very comfortable and really soft. This fabric here is really soft, but um, more a less casual piece. It's got this lace front with the tan underlay. Super cute. I love that raw hem there. Um, and then, yeah, it just has that really soft black material on the back. That is a size extra small. This is an older anthropology brand. It's Tabitha. And um, some of their pieces do really well. If you get a unique piece that's really cute and in good condition, I would recommend picking it up. I recently sold a beaded cardigan really quickly for about 30 something dollars, um, which to me, a quick flip for $30 is um, definitely worth my time. So this is just a floral open front cardigan, which I thought was really cute. It's got um, the kind of waterfront waterfall detail on the front there. And then just really pretty. I like the tan background with these really bright primary colors on top. I think that's a really good contrast. And the cardigan's really soft and really comfortable as well. This is a field and flower piece. Um, it's a size medium. Really good sweater, um, cowl neck. I think it's a space dye type of material. Um, and then it's got these really um, awesome hemline. I love when the hemlines have that cut out on the side. And then it's got a rounded hem, so it's um, really flattering. And then the back, same thing, super cute. Um, this is going to be a... Um, dolman type sleeve because it doesn't have a shoulder seam there. This last piece is a sweater poncho with amazing detail. So cute. I think this is a boiled wool and then the boiled wool is kind of fringed here and it's actually got sleeves which is kind of unusual and a cool feature of this poncho. It's sleeping on snow which is a fabulous um, sweater line from Anthropology, medium slash large, and that's usually how they um, do the sizing with these ponchos, is small, extra small slash small, or medium slash large, um, and really, really, really cute with the cable net on going diagonally across the front and across the back. Super cute, absolutely love this piece. Hey y'all, um, so it's the next day and I have um, done a few things just to prepare for listing. Let's go to sell on Poshmark. So as you can see, I've added about um, 13, I have two old uh, drafts, but I've added about 13 drafts with this new drafts feature on Poshmark, which I love 
because I like to list from my desktop and I like to take photos from my phone and so this drafts feature allows me to um, kind of streamline that process because I can upload the photos on a draft and then um, move over to my desktop and finish the listing process. So um, this is kind of what we're going to work with here today. Let's start with this listing. This is a plaid uh, holding horses tunic and as you can see I've added the photos here. Um, this is a photo of the materials tag which I also add that I can reference in my listing later. I won't include this but let's go ahead and search anthropology holding horses plaid tunic. Okay look that right there that's the one that kind of comes up first but let's go to images. All right, so that was literally the first um, the first one that came up, and it is actually from the Anthropology website. So I'm going to open that link, which is nice because we can use the description within it. And I'm going to save the image onto my desktop. And... Instead of searching for plaid tunic, I'm now going to search by the name of the item. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Poshmark listings, but I'm not seeing more stock photos that I want to use. So I'm going to actually go to Pinterest. And I'm going to search there's a good photo of the back of the blouse so I'll save that image okay so I've saved them to my desktop and then I sent them to my phone with airdrop and I actually just have an app on there that um, makes them fit into a square to be anthropology is the first um, word I'm always going to use, and then I'm going to use the sub-brand of anthropology, and then the style, and then if I can fit any other details, I will. Copy-paste, size 6, excellent, use condition, no visible flaws. Now I'm going to just go here. Boop, boop, boop. Oops. Alright, lace textured silk cotton. And it's not a lace textured silk cotton, so I, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to put um, pink and blue plaid with contrasting striped lining. There's no side zip. Okay, that's just all wrong. <laughs> Three quarter sleeves and high, high low hem. That works. Um, we can get from our materials tag that it's 100% cotton, machine wash, and then I am going to go to my measurements page. This is a an example of something that I use every day. Um, what my employee does is sh she has a spreadsheet and I just kind of pulled the listings we're going to do onto here. Um, she puts the brand, she puts the style number if there is one. Obviously with anthropology she just kind of guessed with some of these. These, I don't think these are real numbers. Um, and then with some of them, she just put descriptions just so I knew which ones to refer to. The size, the cost usually has a cost. This is kind of a code for me to know what the cost is. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Empty Hanger has a really good video on this, and I will link that in the description. And then the measurements, and um, I know what kind of measurements this goes in, but um, typically I would have a sheet for each type of item, so tops, sweaters, dresses, etc. And then the actual measurements would be listed here. But this one, I'm going to copy, paste. Uh, so the chest is 20 inches, and I've just memorized this. The arm is 23. Shoulder is 14. And the length, I'm just going to put... All right, and then I'm going to get that cost on there, and we are going to be good to go, except for I need to add those stock photos. 
top, tunic, six, anthro. Okay, let me get those stock photos on. First, I need to delete. I found three stock photos, so I need to delete three. Um, this is kind of, yeah, the other one's kind of repetitive. And I think I'll get rid of this one. Okay, I've added those stock photos there. And then I'm just going to pop over to Poshmark real quick to see what this style is going for. Here's our 17, here's our 30. Seems like 30 is kind of the going price, so that's fine with me. Um, I will. It looks a little crowded, so I'm just making a mental note of that. So I got that one done. Alright, going back to our drafts. I think I'll do this one next. So I'm going to close that. So Anthropology 11's is um, what was the Islet Trench. Let's see. All right, there it is. Oh, that looks like a good photo. This is definitely an older style, and you can tell. What is it called, this coat? I think it's just called an eyelet, trend, eyelet tiered trench. Um, okay, I'm going to look on Pinterest just to see if there are better photos. Let's try tiered trench. Oh. Actually, go to the anthropology. Wow, that is surprising. So that's cool, though, because now we actually this actually does look like a um, a description that we can use. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this, and what was the name? It's just eyelet trench. So anthropology elevens eyelet. Trench coat. I'm gonna put tiered just to add keyword there, and it's a 12, so that won't fit. So size 12, excellent used condition, no visible flaws. Um, I don't need that. Okay, 55% polyester, 45% cotton. Alright, and I know it's machine wash because I have that saved on my phone. So. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here because I need to go save those stock photos, but um, just getting this ready. Okay, so we've got this one saved. I'm going to go head over to Poshmark to look at... All right. They're no size 12, so that's good. Um, yeah, everything's listed from 30 to 128. So um, I think we'll probably do around the 40, 45 area. I really like this photo better. I'm probably going to steal it. Somebody, hope they don't mind. And then save this. Okay, so I've got one of the cover photos out. I'll add the other two um, on my phone just because I have to put them in the square mode anyway. Um, but um, so I'm actually going to copy this because in my experience with the drafts feature, sometimes it will um, crash on me. So I just try to copy that just in case I have to redo it. I don't have to start all over again. So this is a trench coat. Size 12, I'm just going to double check the size. Yes. 12. 
it's a blue and white anthropology 168 45 all right there we go and I always like my <laughs> I always like my listings just because um, okay I'm gonna do one more on here um, just to wrap things up we're gonna do this top here which came with the button tag um, it is a Kimmy kin so um, Let's see what we come up with. Kimmy Kin. She actually put down a style number. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to search it. I don't see. Uh... Okay. Green embroidered. This is actually what I'm going to go to. There it is. Henley. Oh, it's actually just called embroidered Henley top. All right. Well, that's a much better image. So we are going to. Hopefully find this there's another one. Okay, cool. So let's do that. And the new without tag. That's always Kimmy Pin Embroidered Henley. Top. I can make the cut. Top and green size. I think it's extra small. Extra small. New without tag includes extra buttons tag. No visible flaws. Have to type this stuff out. So it's already typed up for us, which we appreciate. All right. Now we need uh, the measurements and the price. Price code. And then we will add the stock photos. I also want to see. Okay, so I just want to check comps real quick. It looks like there's one for 25 and then one for 36. I like pricing things at 25 because Poshmark does categorize their prices 0 to 25, 26 to 50, 51 to 100. And so getting in that bottom um, kind of echelon I think is really useful and important and helps things sell faster. But then the likelihood of actually selling it for 25 is pretty low. And I really do want to get at least, you know, $20 back. So I think I'm going to do $35. Um, but if it doesn't sell for whatever reason, I might reevaluate that. Okay, so I added the stock photos there. I like that one because I think it looked really cute, tucked into high-waisted jeans. So, all right. Again, I'm just going to copy this just in case... And run into any kind of malfunction. It's happened several times already. Okay, y'all, so that is how I list. Um, you know, obviously finding stock photos, the amount of time it takes depends. Usually the newer items are quicker to find. Okay, y'all, um, real quick, this is me, <laughs> this is editing Morgan, um, just kind of swooping in here, but 
I wanted to add a few tips that I ended up editing out because this video was going to be like three hours long. And basically these are just little tools I use when Google searching to find stock photos in general. And one of which is using quotation marks. So if I put in anthropology in quotation marks, it's going to ensure that the um, that word is used in all the search engine results. So if I put in anthropology denim culottes, um, these are all going to be have anthropology within that keyword. And if I left it out, you might get um, search results from like Zara or wherever. Another thing that I do is if I only want search results to come from anthropology.com, I will put site anthropology.com. There's no space in there. Now all my search results are from there. And so if I wanted to find um, the actual listing, whether it's for the just the description or the style name or the stock photos, um, you can, that's a really useful um, tool that I use. I think the quotation marks do also work on Pinterest as well. And Pinterest is one that will throw you a bunch of different results. So if I'm looking for, um, again, and other stories, and other stories stock photos are notoriously hard to find. But, um, and then I'm looking for like a leopard dress leopard print dress or something. This is going to ensure that um, those search results have and other stories in um, within their description. So Pinterest is a huge tool for me and I just highly recommend it. Um, even if you're just trying to look for a style name or anything at all, um, I use Pinterest a lot. If you have any questions or comments, always feel free to, you know, leave a question in the YouTube comments or reach out to me on Instagram. I always am trying to help y'all as much as I can. Um, you know, this is definitely something that you could do yourself, but it does get easier over time. Just over experience, you kind of figure out what keywords to search for and so forth. But um, between Google, Pinterest, and Poshmark, those are the three in which you're going to be able to find stock photos the easiest. Okay, so I've got a lot more listing to do, so I am going to get to it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so, so, so grateful that you showed up. I love making YouTube videos, so if you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can also click the little bell notification if you want to get notified when I upload my next video. And if you aren't already, follow me on Instagram and go check out my Poshmark closet. It's all under the same name, Mogi Beth. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much. Love y'all, have a fabulous day, bye.